Cafe Global has recently published a study on global alcoholic beverage groups, which find themselves in a market that is growing, but also changing. The industry is currently worth around 750 billion euros and is highly fragmented, with many kinds of wine, beer and spirits, and huge differences in drinking patterns across the globe, depending on local incomes, habits and cultures. At present, 2.4 equivalent units of alcohol per capita is drunk on mature markets, while only 1.1 equivalent units of alcohol per capita is drunk on emerging markets. Nevertheless, the gap is closing, and it is emerging markets that have been driving the industry of late. Emerging markets are not only promising due to their pure size, but also due to the fact that a growing middle class means that increasing consumption of imported and high-end brands is making them chief markets for premium alcoholic beverages. China, in particular, has become one of the industry's hotspots. It is the number one beer market, the number one spirits market, and the number one red wine market in the world. It is also the second biggest cognac market and has even become a major player in terms of production, coming in at eighth position of the world's largest wine producers. On the other hand, mature markets have suffered somewhat from less than favorable economic conditions and tax pressure, but are also seeing a move towards premium and super premium brands. Emerging markets and premiumization are therefore two key words in the industry at the present time. But other evolving consumer trends are also evident. For example, the gender gap in alcohol demand is closing with women catching up to men somewhat in alcohol consumption. Furthermore, consumer tastes are changing and demand for flavoured drinks as well as lighter, low-calorie, low-alcohol beverages is taking off. Big players are responding to these trends by buying up or merging with breweries or distilleries established on fast-growing markets. As a result of this, intensive consolidation has taken place in the beer sector. Acquisitions are also targeting premium brands as companies jump on the premium bandwagon. In addition to this, alcoholic beverage groups are tapping into greater demand from women through targeted marketing and product adaptation, and are also innovating and launching new products to adapt to consumers' changing tastes. However, there are some spanners in the works. Regulation weighs heavily on the industry and comes in several forms. Taxes discourage consumption, alcohol advertising is frequently banned or restricted, the places and times of sale and consumption are limited, and, more specifically, recent bans on luxury gifts in China has hit ultra-premium sales of leading spirits groups. Nevertheless, companies that manage to work around these obstacles to tap into the growing demand will be rewarded with a promising market.